Welcome back guys, in this video I will be testing Borderlands 4 on my ROG Ally running on Linux based Poseidon operating system. Borderlands is an action role playing first person looter shooter game built using Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, I have already done my testing. This game is very demanding on the GPU on Ally. Even when the game is running at 720p resolution, low settings, FSR or XSS upscalers preset set to quality FPS stays within a range of 25 to 40 in the open areas. I'll be very honest, the game's visuals just do not justify its poor performance. In this game, I observed roughly the same performance on both Windows and Bazaar. Unreal Engine 5 games are notorious for traversal stutters, but this game does not exhibit any excessive stuttering even on ROG Ally. Few hiccups here and there, nothing extreme. The game received a new update just yesterday. According to the developers, it improved the game's stability. Its size is around 1.2 GB. I've already installed it. In this video, I'll also show you how to use AMD's FSR 4 upscaler in conjunction with Intel's XCSS frame generation. It's highly recommended to use XCSS frame gen in this game, help in improving the performance and only increase the latency by a very small amount. I'll highlight this in the video. To achieve this combination, I'll be using OptiScaler mod. But you can use this guide on a more powerful Linux PC with an RDNA 3 based GPU. Rogala comes with Radeon 780M GPU based on RDNA 3 architecture. For using FSR 4, just make sure your Linux based PC is running on Mesa driver version 25.2 or anything newer than that. Also need to use the latest version of GE Proton and the workaround for RDNA 3 based GPUs will add the workaround to the game via launch argument. On ROG Ally, I'll be using FSR version 4.0.0 instead of FSR 4.0.2 as the former is lighter on RDNA 3 based GPUs than the latter. If you have a high-end RDNA 3 based GPU, you can stick with the latest version of FSR 4 upscaler. First, I'll run the game without any mods and solve, show you the base game performance and highlight the graphical artifacts produced by FSR 3 upscaler. Switch to gaming mode. Mazai to S system info section. My life is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. I have set the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. Video driver RADB 25.2.1. The driver should not be older than 25.2 if you want to use FSR 4. Handheld daemon settings. TDP set to 27 watts. TDP boost setting disabled. I'm using a very aggressive fan curve. CPU settings. CPU power set to low. CPU boost disabled. GPU frequency auto. I'm using G Proton version 10 15 as the compatibility layer. Connected my FlyDG Beta 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. I am playing as Rafa, who is a human belonging to Exo Soldier class. In game display settings, display mode windowed, 720p resolution, no FPS cap applied, VSync or using the low graphics preset, upscaler set to FSR 3.1 using its quality preset, frame generation disabled, would not recommend using FSR frame generation, produces a lot of graphical artifacts. I have already highlighted these artifacts in another video causing a shadow to flicker during fast visual motion tearing like effect around the left and right edges of the display when we are spinning the camera these are the settings that come with the low PC and isotropic filtering set to 8 times motion blur disable motion blur amount set to nil that's it performance QM settings only level set to 3 frame limit 120, variable refresh rate enabled. I'll quickly highlight some graphical artifacts. Just observe the ground textures here. I'll move in left and right directions. As you can see the textures, they are producing that ugly shimmering effect. The entire game world shimmers <laughs> and you use FSR 3.1 upscaler in this game. See. Switching to FSR 4 upscaler will fix this graphical artifact. Bad image stability. Now just observe the weapon's iron side. Yeah, there is some coasting present around it when I spin the camera. See, this coasting effect is even produced by DLSS 4 upscaler. And yes, even FSR 4 upscaler will produce it. Caused by temporal upscalers. Okay, I'll just engage in combat now. And there's a campsite nearby, flying creatures. FPS, oh my god, 29. Not hitting the GP bottleneck here. 
use my grappling hook it's a big area yeah 28 fps in game world is really very big you can traverse it using a vehicle even use a grappling hook to cover longer distances I'm just looking for some NPCs FPS in this game stays in a range of 25 to 40 for the most part combat started yank the item towards me throw it just use my skill yeah, check out the hard element here it's exhibiting some coasting 26 fps order is not stuttering game does not exhibit any excessive stuttering animation quality is looking a bit choppy as expected ok now i'll show you how to install optiscaler mod to enable fsr pro upscaler and xcss frame gen who is shooting at me switch to desktop mode i'll be using the latest test build of optiscaler mod version 0.9 preview 3 20250911 it's available on their discord server just click on the dot 7z link here download will start optiscaler mod comes with fsr version 4.0.2 I'll be manually downgrading it to version 4.0.0 using AMD Fidelity FX TX12.tll file. I'll get it from Fidelity FX SDK version 1.1.4. And just click on the download icon here. Download raw file. Download will start. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Click on Downloads. Here you will find all of the files that you just downloaded. I have transferred them to another directory. It does not matter. Just open Optiscaler Mods archive file. There it is need to extract its contents click on extract name type anything click on extract wait for the extraction process to complete finish close the archive window open the extracted folder and just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to txgi.tll Now just copy the highlighted files, live xcss.tll, this is xcss super resolution, live xcss underscore fg.tll frame generation file, dxgi.tll file, copy all of the dx12 versions of fidelity fx dll files, Vulkan version of fidelity fx not required, nukem 9 smart not required, fake nv apis, by mistake I double click, libxcll.tll file low latency mode directx len version of xcss not required optiscaler.ini file fidelity fx tx12 fake nv api.ini file right click copy select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files open ok game folder open binaries folder open win64 folder paste everything here 10 items apply to all overwrite I'll highlight all of the files now we just need to open optiscaler.ini file and change one setting Here all of the files are present open optiscaler.ini file click on edit click on find and just type fsr4 and hit enter key twice need to set fsr4 update to true now click on save close we need to add a launch argument to the game it's basically the workaround for rdna 3 based gpus select the game in your steam library click on the settings cog here click on properties click on general under launch options add this line of text i'll provide it in the description of the video you can copy the line from there and then paste it here make sure you are using the latest version of gproton i am using gproton version 10-15 you can download gproton for free from proton or qt app at this point if you run the game you will be able to use fsr version 4.0.2 but i'll manually downgrade it to version 4.0.0 as it is lighter on rdna 3 based gpus 
then the latest version of FSR app scaler. And just copy FidelityFX TS12 TLL file and that you download it from FidelityFX SDK version 1.1.4. Open the games install directory. Open OK game folder. Open binaries folder. Win64 folder. Paste the file here. Replace the existing file. Override. That's it. Unswiss to gaming mode. Launch the game. In game settings, same as before. Display mode set to windowed. Don't run the game in full screen mode if you want to use XSL Swim Gen 720p resolution VSync off no FPS cap applied. Using the low graphics preset, the upscaler set to TLSS. This means OptiScaler mode is working. Using the upscaler's quality preset. Reflex enable mod will replace reflex with XSS low latency mode. Everything set to low. Motion blur disabled. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. There it is. I'll just increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu US scale. Set the value to 1.2. Much better. Change the upscaler from this drop down bar. Next to change upscaler. Select FSR 3.x forward slash 4. Click on change upscaler. Yeah, it changed to FSR version 4.0.0. Display may freeze for a few seconds, do not worry, audio will still be playing, just wait for the display to work again, game won't crash, current model used is 1, which corresponds to the quality preset of DLSS upscaler, input, in-game DLSS upscaler, DXGS spoofing on, auto export setting is on, ok, I'll just Enable OptiScaler's performance overlay. Expand FPS overlay section. Check the setting FPS overlay enabled. Full plus graph. Change its position top right. Not bottom left. My bad. Save INF first. I'll play the game without frame generation. Yeah, here FPS is close to 30. With FSR 3.1 upscaler, we were getting close to 33 FPS. I just observe the ground texture. In the background, I just move in left and right directions. That shimmering effect is gone, nuked, non existent, all thanks to FSR 4 upscaler. See, but some ghosting is still present around the iron sides of the weapon during fast visual motion. See, image quality is looking sharp sharper than FSR 3.1 upscaler I'll engage in combat now and me nearby the hell is this thing dead <laughs> 26 to 30 fps you can drop the upscaler preset to balance if you want but we are not hitting the GP bottleneck here CPU side limitation it seems ok now I'll show you how to enable XCSS frame gen this game supports TLSS frame generation and a streamline version newer than version 2 so we can use TLSS GY streamline as the frame generation source in OptiScaler menu this way we won't be required to deal with hard fix you know, into these things dead Open off the skiller menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source. Select TLSS GY streamline as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Now just click on save INI close. Restart the game. Play. Open the game settings after restarting the game and make sure frame generation setting is enabled with the upscaler set to TLSS. Apply. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Check this setting active under frame generation XCFG. Current streamline FG state, yeah, it's on. You can check the debug view. These purple sidebars will appear flickering. If XCSS frame gen is not working, the sidebars oh, beg your pardon, won't appear at all. Disable them. New FPS increased to around 50. Check out the animation quality now much more than before when we had frame generation disabled character shadow it's not flickering during fast visual motion 
means hard elements not flickering cross here not flickering as well check out the real world latency the input delay this is amazing barely any increase in input delay I am able to trace a circle all thanks to XSS low latency mode it's mentioned here under frame rate section current method XCLL base resolution value 845 pixels by 476 <laughs> oh my god upscale to 720p still the image quality is looking good sharp kill some NPCs there they are dead use my skill no tearing effect is produced around the left and right edges of the display as a frame generation produces the tearing effect check out the frame pacing graph oh no i died billion stuttering very good results produced by ffsr4 upscaler and xcss frame gen this game that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day